Hi, this is Greg Noyes of Pacific West Home Inspections, and I'm doing a house <clears throat> in uh, Lake Balboa area. It's Wednesday, July 3rd. Tomorrow's our big holiday, and uh, I'm on the roof. And the first thing I want to estimate is the age of the roof. So, looking at the ridge cap, these are uh, damaged here. So we, uh, they usually start to deteriorate at uh, uh, eight to 10 years. So I would say this roof with the uh, damaged shingles here, you gain the mat, uh, probably about uh, 12 to 14 years old. And you've got some permits so you can d double check uh, my estimation there. It's uh, one layer of roofing and uh, I looked in the attic and they have plywood underneath the uh, composition shingles and the uh, flashings, little flashings uh, on the uh, on the uh, vents and uh, uh, plumbing vents and exhaust vents are uh, metal, so this is done right here. You have a whirly bird, and you have also uh, the uh, gable vents, so that's all done properly as well. So on your valley here at the rear of the house, rear and left side of the house, you have uh, debris, and you want to clean that up. And I'm going to bring the uh, uh, camera around. This is the skylight that's in your hall bathroom, and it's not cracked. And this is the uh, vent for your uh, water heater in your kitchen area and they used a uh, transite pipe here this is a asbestos type product and the instructions on your uh, water heater they say use a uh, tight metal B B as a boy vent that's a uh, double wall metal vent so that wasn't switched out uh, walking over the kitchen area, there's a uh, uh, shingles here. Uh, we do have heavy fans uh, the rear of the house. The service cable was right over the pool, it's less than 22 feet off the ground. And the service cable has fallen up through a tree. There's some tree branches on that as well. Now one of the questions uh, Sean had was the age of the uh, garage roof and that looks like it's put on the same time as the uh, house roof. So uh, uh, you do have gutters and they're all full of debris. And I'm going to bring the uh, uh, camera around to the left side. And that here you've got a satellite dish, and they always mount it directly on the roof, so you have a potential water leaks for the bolting disc. That's uh, a common way of doing it. So you see the bolts here. And you have a tree uh, on the left side of the house that has some limbs, so this is an area that you could always be uh, uh, cutting back, trimming, and sweeping off the roof. I'm going to walk towards the front of the house and we'll talk about the chimney and uh, the uh, uh, exhaust for the furnace. Uh, it's just, they ran the type B vent, the metal vent, through a old transite pipe and that's not the proper way of doing it. The uh, uh, heat will cool down too fast and uh, be cause problems. So it should be a metal vent all the way up through the roof. And as we get over to the front of the house, you'll see uh, a chimney there, and it's been, uh, it's a frame chimney, they, they have a brick veneer on it, and this has been probably replaced after the earthquake in 1994. I haven't looked at the fireplace, but the chimney part has been uh, retrofitted. So there is, when I got here today, uh, my uh, chimney company was here, the sun was here, and so you'll have a report on that. 
Now behind the chimney, you have uh, the roof goes down and hits it. And if you notice, it has all this uh, debris here. And the idea is that we uh, like to see a, uh, a flashing detail where the water goes around the, the chimney. It's called a cricket. They have a little one here, but it's not big enough for the uh, for this type width of uh, chimney. So on the next re-roof, you want to have them put in a, a, a cricket type of uh, uh, metal flashing, and that'll divert the water uh, coming down this area around the chimney and out the front of the house. And uh, so you got that. There's a tree uh, looking at the chimney. Uh, there's a tree limb right over the chimney that needs to be cut back. And the limbs over the house, the roof here, need to be cut back as well. So uh, one last look at the uh, condition of the shingles, composition shingles. And you'll see uh, the edges here are worn and the mat is shown a lot of areas here. So you probably have another eight years or so on the uh, roof and then you have to be replaced. And then uh, the ridge cap, the very top of the uh, roof, these shingles here need to be replaced uh, ASAP or uh, yesterday. So uh, that will need to be done. You want it done before the next uh, season, rain season. And, uh, there's some high areas here in the roof. Uh, when I'm down in the uh, attic, I'll see what's going on there. All in all, uh, again, this is Greg Noyes of Pacific West Home Inspections, and I can be reached at 818-362-5578 or on the web www.ehomeinspector.com. So I'm under the house, <coughs> under the uh, water heater <coughs> area. You can see the water leaking here. And it comes from a uh, from the uh, drip pan under the uh, water heater. You can see the uh, pipe there. Uh, there you go. You can see them where it's dripping from. It's the bottom of the. Uh, Trip pan is not extend all the way out. This here. So, uh, and the very, it's the rear of the uh, old house. They have a crack in the foundation back here, and uh, about a half inch of water that's uh, uh, underneath the uh, house here. Uh, there is. Uh, uh, open a uh, junction box under the uh, bathroom, rear bathroom, and there's some uh, leaky uh, the toilet pipe under the hall bath, the front hall bath. Uh, the cast iron is uh, leaking there as well. Again, this is Greg Noyes, uh, the house and Lake Balboa, and today is Tuesday or Wednesday, July 3rd.